I want to hear about the resources that you've got available. You've obviously written a book, but I believe you've got a YouTube channel. You've got a podcast. Can you tell us about that so people know about those? And I'll link them below. So for everyone who's watching, if you want much more information, use the links below. But Philip, tell us about what you what, you know what what information you're giving to the community. Sure, those resources. I uh, highly recommend uh, checking out both the podcast, the Hacker Factory podcast, which you can find. It's uh, I do that through ITSP Magazine. You can find that on all the popular pen, uh, podcast platforms: Spotify, Apple, Audible and uh, Google, all the different platforms you can find. It's the Hacker Factory. The focus of that is I interview different people in the industry and they share their path into security and their advice. And so this is focused on people trying to get in. Uh, The podcasts are fairly short in in format, typically 30 minutes, uh, but people share their experiences. And a lot of times, you know, people get a lot of good from it because they see someone with their background. Maybe they went to the same college. They had the same former career. Or they're trying to pivot out of the same role. I had a former coworker on my podca- podcast and a good friend of mine and someone I mentored. We both met during our CAD drafting days and he shared about moving from a CAD drafter into security. And someone listening to the podcast was working as a CAD drafter wanting to get into cybersecurity. So that motivated them. And there's people sometimes that ask me, I'm 30, I'm 40, I'm 50 years old. Am I too old to start? And I've had people on my podcast that started career in their 40s and 50s. So it's a good way to inspire and encourage people to start. And then as far as resources for my YouTube channel, I've got a playlist for my lectures from Dallas College based on the Pentest Plus certification. But not only do I cover the content in those slides from the Pentest Plus book, I also cover real world experiences I have. There's some walkthroughs that I do and, and sharing some of my experiences as a pen tester. And you can just find that playlist on my my YouTube channel. That's great. So in other words, this is stuff that you used to teach in a college, right? Yes. Because I used to stream my class and it's interesting because before the pandemic, I wanted to start offering my class globally and I started using Zoom so people could could take the class remotely. They didn't have to be on site. I had people from other countries, other states joining joining in on my, my classes. And from recording that, I had those recordings. I decided to, to post those on YouTube so uh, everyone had access to those. Also on that channel too, I've got, I, I have playlists with all the different webinars and podcasts I've been on, the conference talks I've given and different workshops I've taught. So just about anything I've done, there's a version of it out there on that channel. And of course, whenever this this interview posts, I'll be sharing that on one of those playlists as well. That's fantastic. I mean, so you were teaching Pentest Plus and people can get a whole bunch of content if they want to study just the basics of cyber or prepare for that exam, right? Yes. And I've actually had people that have come back to me after using that resource and has said it actually helped them on the Pentest Plus. And you on Twitter, you're on LinkedIn, is that right? Yes. And Instagram as well. Not as active on Instagram, but wanting to put more effort in it because I know it's a good way to reach people because a lot of the, the younger folks are, are using Instagram over some of the other uh, social media platforms. So everyone who's watching, please go and follow Philip on Twitter, follow him on uh, LinkedIn, subscribe to his YouTube channel. I mean, that's fantastic that you can get a whole like Pentest Plus course for free uh, from someone who actually does this, not just from a theoretical point of view. So uh, Philip, really want to thank you for making that available.